Welcome to Lecture Online. It turns out that if you take the partial derivative with one variable first, and then the partial derivative of that with another variable, and you then change the order, it really doesn't matter. You'll get the exact same value. For example, if you take the partial derivative of the function first with respect to x, and then you do it again with respect to y, or you take the partial of the function, the partial derivative of the function with respect to y first, and then you do it again with, the, with respect to x, you get the exact same result. Of course, this one's that short notation, or you can write it like this, same thing. Now let's take our example, the function f of x and y equals x to the fourth y cubed. Let's first take the partial derivative with respect to x. The partial of the function with respect to x is equal to, notice then that y cubed will become the constant. This then becomes 4x cubed y cubed. And now let's take the derivative of this, the remainder of that, with respect to the other variable, with respect to y. So the partial with respect to y of the partial of the function with respect to x is equal to, so now we take this, we take the partial derivative of this with respect to y, then x becomes the constant, so it's 3 times 4, which is 12x cubed y to the second power. Now we're going to do the same thing, but in reverse. We first are going to take the partial derivative of the function with respect to y. The partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to, now notice, x becomes the constant, so this will now be 3 times x to the fourth power, y to the second power. Now we take the derivative of that with respect to x. So that's of the function with respect to y, which means we're going to take the partial derivative of this with respect to x. Now y becomes a constant. This becomes 4 times 3, which is 12x cubed y squared. And notice, you get the exact same result. Doesn't matter what the order of operation is. You want to take the partial derivative with respect to x first, and then with y after that, or first with the partial derivative of the function with respect to y, and then with respect to x, you'll always get the exact same result. And that's the rule of partial derivatives.